several times as the assessment of Syria's foreign minister, Walid al-Mualim, who says that the jihadists should be prevented from entering his country from Turkey. I've been speaking to the former U.S. ambassador to Iraq and Turkey, James Franklin Jeffrey, who dismisses Mr. al-Mualim's claim. The airstrikes have done several things in Syria as well as in Iraq. They have stopped ISIS's forward momentum in Iraq, and we've seen both to the south of Baghdad uh, and uh, to the north in the Yala province. Oh, uh, cat chasing his tail. Uh, Iraqi forces of one or another sort of American air support have been able to push ISIS back. Furthermore, they've conducted a strategic campaign in Syria uh, that has uh, degraded ISIS's ability to offer uh, fuel, which is one of their major sources of money, uh, hit some of their strategic communications targets, force them to actually maneuver totally differently than before, that is, they're very careful in moving in the open, and secondly, defeated them pretty much in Kobani. These are all strategic successes. I don't know why he's saying what he's saying. But Kobani is just one border town, and we are talking about a, a very long border, and you would expect...